Hey everybody. Um, this is my letter to self. It's something I wrote about 18 years ago. I was about 11 or 12 years old. So on the outside of the envelope, it is completely sealed. Uh, never been opened. Brand new. Letter to self. I wrote it to me, from me, when I was, well, June 3rd, 1987. So I was 11, I guess. Um, this was attached to the outside of the envelope. It's prices. Um, from May 28th, 1997, I was age 11 at 9.04 p.m. I was a very precise anal person even then, so um, let me see. Taxes were 6% on every dollar. Bread was 99 cents. Coffee, 23 ounces for $7.39. Now you buy the little K-cups for like a dollar a piece. Surge Pop, 2 liters for 99 cents. Grape Jelly, 2 pounds for 79 cents. My favorite bread and butter pickles, $1.69. It goes on from there, but yeah, all the stuff that I like, walnut vinaigrette, ketchup, $1.23. This was back in the day, man. Gas, I didn't have the gas price, but it was under a dollar, I'm sure. So that's all my prices right there. Let's see, status. This is the next one. Status. It's my beautiful handwriting, too. Status. All right, same age, 11 years old, somewhere in there. Two pets at home, Key and Jojo, my cat and a bird. Pet at Graham and Grandpa's house, Misty, little cat. It was, like, mental. I, like, retarded, mental, sorry. Um, food I love, pizza, nachos, cheese sticks, and mustard pretzels. Hasn't changed much. Drink, surge. Uh, music, Hanson, Hanson, mm, pop, mm, mm. Alanis Morissette, anything alternative, R&B, dance, and uh, the new song called Bitch by Meredith Brooks. So I was I was a kick-ass kid at 11, right? Sports, I don't know what I, who I was kidding, but sports, I've got basketball and soccer written down there. It was such a lie, but down there. Um, and what I think of myself, I'm a fun-loving guy, man. So that hopefully hasn't changed too much. It's pretty, uh, pretty much me. So that's my status. So, all right. Like I said, never been opened, completely sealed. Um, got the little sticker. Don't open until your 30th birthday. So, okay. I've been holding on to this for 18 years, so that's it. I've got no idea. This could be the most embarrassing thing I've ever done in my entire life. So. Okay. okay. Oh wow. This could be. You could be so boring. You could be. Uh, you could be in. For, I don't know what's in here. <laughs> all sorts. All sorts of stuff. So it's gonna be a long. All right. Student questions. My favorite color, teal pizza, is my favorite food. My favorite drink is kick. So I lied on this one and then, I don't know. Um, favorite TV program, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Favorite sport, football. See, I just I just um, made them all up. I, I'm sure I want to do it live. I, I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to come up with, so we're going to see. You're probably going to be all bored by the end of it. Um, favorite hobby is swimming. I, I don't know who I was lying to. Uh, favorite subject in school, reading. Why? Because I like to read. All right. Uh, least favorite subject, math. It's, it's, it's math. I don't know. Uh, if I were a teacher, if you were the teacher, what would you do to make school more interesting and fun? Have real things in the classroom, like pets. <laughs> What's one thing that teachers do which really gripes you? Give long reports. I had ADD even then. See, I, like, I saw squirrels. If you could choose any seating position, where would you put your desk? In the back, where all the cool kids are. Man, in the back, you know. All right. Why? I like the back. <laughs> How many hours a day do you watch TV? Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen hours a day. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you get hungry in between meals, what are some of the things you will eat? Candy bars. Candy bars. That's about me. What time do you go to bed? Ten. Not, not anymore. <laughs> it's like two. Uh, my idea of a good time is watching TV. All right. This is like a dating profile. I need to fill this out for now. Um, I wish teachers would give less homework. I often worry about nothing. I'm just you know, nothing. I don't worry. Um... I can't understand why some classrooms are so dull. <laughs> Other people think of me as, I don't know. I feel bad when, I don't know. All right. So that's my little questionnaire in there. My answers. 
like I said, I haven't seen this for 18 years. I don't remember what I did or put in there. And a little apple. It's my just an apple. Nothing. Maybe I thought maybe it smelled, but no, it's just an apple. Just thanks for an apple. I don't know. Um, I just I apparently threw a bunch of random crap in this envelope just to fill it up and make it look bigger. There's a student attendant hot lunch count sheet. It's blue. I must have liked the color. Probably it's blue. I don't know. Blue. Oh lord. Whoa, man. The Peking City Reading Club. There's this little Chinese restaurant in town, and congratulations, you've met your reading goal. And I could have got a child's hot dog and fries or an egg roll, and I didn't turn it in. I thought it was so important to put this in the envelope that I forgot and didn't get my egg roll because I wanted to put that in there. I wonder if they'll still honor it. I should try. I should go down there and try and get my egg roll with my coupon. I'm like, I've saved this for 18 years. Can I have my egg roll? All right. Um, well, it says it expires June 1st, 1997, but I think I'm going to take it down there and see if they'll, they'll give me an egg roll. Like, yeah, it's my birthday. Come on. <laughs> All right. Um, I thought this was going to be like, I thought I wrote a letter to myself, but apparently I remember writing a letter to myself, but um, maybe I didn't. Oh, there it is. Okay. We'll get to that last. Um, class schedule. All my, my blocks of classes that I don't remember taking that have gone out the door. Classes. Okay. Oh, man. This is cool. It's this, the book club. I was such a nerd. This is my favorite thing in the entire world. Like the book club thing. Goosebumps, man. This is back in the day. Goose. They are still in business. I'm going to go give that egg. I'm, I'm getting an egg roll. I'm going to do it. I waited. Um, this is the book club, man. Oh, my God. This was so much fun. My, uh, the little dude, Kayla's son, actually just, um, got these, and the books are like $30 a piece, so a dollar fifty for a book back in 1997 ain't so bad. That's not, that's not bad at all. Let me see. Dead time stories. No wonder I had nightmares as a kid. Dead time stories, the ten creepiest places in America. I, no wonder I couldn't sleep or still can't sleep. Wow. Hmm. Book club. I will totally tell you if I get the egg roll. I promise. Promise. Let's see. Oh. This guy. I, <laughs> um, hello. I, I, um, I must have thought he was the pastor of my church. Pastor of Emmanuel. Um, J.J.F. Och. Och, it's Rachel. Och. Um, missionary to the Chippewa Indians from 1845 to 1852 and I don't know what happened to the Chippewas after then but apparently this guy had something to do with it so um, him he's actually really important to our town our town um, that I live in called Seabuing was originally called Oakville after this guy now they just gave him a street he's in, they, they're like Pfft. um I really just put a bunch of random crap in here uh the Lockhart Museum. It's a little Chippewa museum from my hometown. The old mission house and the Lockhart Museum. So a little bit of information just in case. Like I said, I must have just gone through the school and picked up every brochure they had and just like <laughs> stuffed it in here. Actually, here's a picture of the Lockhart Museum. So there's that. Just in case you're interested, I know this is probably... Alright, so here's the fun part. Here's the letter. This is what I wrote myself 30 years, or 30 years ago, 18 and a half years ago on June 3rd, 1997. I wrote this letter to myself. So this may or may not be incredibly embarrassing. We'll see what I, what I did to myself here. June 3rd, 1997. Dear Brayden, happy birthday. This box is filled with my favorite memories, just stuff I like. I don't have much stuff to write about. I'm 11 years old and have three pets. My fellow 5th grade classmates are Christian, Amanda, Justin, Charlotte, Allison, Joanna, Christy, Jamie, and Amber. It was a small class. I come from a small town. There's eight of us. Um, nine. We're a double class. D-U-B-B-L-E. Double, apparently. I wasn't learning very much at 11. We're a double class. Double. D-U-B-B-L-E. How dull is this? See? I, and I still feel this way. How dull is this? I wrote that. How dull is this? <laughs> so... <laughs> Check out the box of stuff. There's a box. I don't know. Maybe there's a box. I, I, I don't remember any boxes. Apparently there's a box somewhere. More on the back. God bless. Braden Yard. Oh. 
So I got my little happy birthday balloons on there, and this is my letter. That's what that's what I've been waiting all these years for. That's what you're spending your mornings doing, watching me read this boring letter. Um, let me see. Have a nice day. I was so polite even back then. I should. I was in customer service even back then. Have a nice day. Um, let me see. Uh, a list of my classmates. Oh, wow. That was. Oh, and then everybody signed it as my happy birthday. So everybody signed happy birthday. All my classmates are on there. Just wishing me a happy 30th birthday. It really wasn't much. I remember writing, I must have another letter for maybe when I'm 40 that I was talking about. I don't know what I was doing, but I remember it. So maybe there's another letter I've got to go and find it's from when I turned 40 in 360, 3,654 days. Just so you know, I got my countdown already. So that's my letter. That's what it was. That was anticlimactic. That's, that's my letter. It is kind of cool to everybody's signatures, though. That's neat. Everybody signed. I'll have to tag everybody when I get this. So yeah, that's my letter. 30th birthday letter. How dull is this? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for um, thanks for living that memory with me. That's kind of cool. So yeah, letter to Braden from Braden. Open on your 30th birthday. Hey, have a good day, guys. Thanks. Button, stop. Stop. I said stop. <laughs> 